guys, I'm back for another video and today I want to do a review on this new Maybelline Volume Express Mascara and I haven't opened it as you guys can see, it's brand new and I don't know, I just saw it in the store and I was like let me try this, it's new, maybe it's good and maybe I can recommend it to you guys so um, basically what this is, is it's two different mascaras, it's like double sided and one side is for your bottom lashes and one side is for your top lashes, which to me sounds amazing because if this is actually a good product and you can use it, then you don't need another mascara for your bottom lashes and then it's perfect. So it basically says that it gives you fal the false look, like false eyelash look. And my color is in brownish black, which I did not even know, but it's brownish black. And... It says here that it magnifies lower lashes and it lifts upper lashes. So this sounds like an overall good mascara to me. I purchased this for $9.49 at CVS Pharmacy. So the upper lash mascara wand looks like this. It's kind of like interestingly curved. It gives you that effect that if you twist it, it looks like it's getting higher. I don't know if that like explains it very well, but it's like kind of like spirally. And then the lower one, oh, I like this one. It's nice and small. I'm going to apply the mascara right now and I'm going to show you the effect. So I'm not wearing any mascara right now. Okay, so I'm just going to curl my lashes like I always do and I'm going to zoom you guys in. Okay, so they show you that the upper side is purple, so that's easier, so it's not like the same color, because I kind of confused it a second ago. But yeah. It looks like the mascara itself is a little liquidy, but we'll see. So now you guys can see the difference and I think it's a pretty dramatic difference between my left eye and my right eye. I only have top mascara on my left eye so now let's do the bottom lashes. So that is my mascarified eye and now let's do the other eye. Okay, so I'm now done applying the mascara, and I don't know why the lighting is so bad right now. I look ghostly. Let me try turning it off. Alright, I don't know if this is any better, but I'm now done applying the mascara. It is now about 10 a.m., and I will be back in a few hours to update you guys and let you know how it's going and how the mascara is holding up because this is not a waterproof mascara, so we'll see if it smudges and, in general, how it lasts, if it stays, like volumized on my lashes and yeah I will see you guys in a bit. Hi guys I'm back for my update and it's been a really long time since I put the mascara on. It's now about 7 p.m. so I've been wearing it for about nine hours now. Let's see how it held up. It's still on and I think that it looks good and yeah everything is fine. It kind of smudged a little bit but other than that, everything looks good. Now let's see how well this mascara comes off of my eyes. So I'm just going to try to take this off and I'm using my trusted Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipes. So let's see. Yeah, so I've taken off my mascara now, and it came off really easily, and yeah, I'm really pleased with this mascara. I do think it's worth the price, and I think it's a pretty interesting idea that it has a mascara, it's like a two-in-one, so it's like for your upper lashes and your lower lashes. 
So yeah, overall I would give this mascara a 9 out of 10 because I just felt like the bottom lashes kind of like smudged and they were kind of clumpy at the end of the day, but that's after wearing it for nine hours. So I think that's okay, but I guess they could improve the formula if they really wanted to. But yeah, I really like this product and I do recommend that all of you guys try it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful, then please don't forget to thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.